Hello everybody, this is Pun, the Frugal Streamer, and I wanted to show you uh, some, I think it's something that's really important because a lot of people have been uh, kind of upset about this new Windows 10 Spring Update because it's really messed up a lot of people's audio. I think I want to kind of address it a little bit, show you the changes that they have done, and I think there's something in particular I think a lot of you will really be happy about especially if you use uh, this little third-party app called Audio Router that I have talked about in the past and I've done a video on. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, some new things with Windows 10 with audio specifically that I think you will like. So let's go ahead and switch over. And so here is my streaming PC. And so if you were to go down here before and you were to right-click on this little speaker, uh, you would find uh, you could access your default playback, default record devices, uh, general sound settings, uh, the window sounds that you could use for various actions, that sort of thing. Well, they've changed this a lot. It's totally changed. So if you right click on this now, uh, you can see here you got open volume mixer, which is your normal, uh, you know, uh, volume control for your different sources. Or if you look here, you can see there's some changes where you can add spatial sound like Dolby Atmos, for instance, or this new this Windows Sonic for headphones. Uh, here's your sounds here, which would be your normal Windows sounds before, and then your troubleshoot sound problems uh, wizard that was already there. But uh, you can see that the default record devices and playback devices aren't here anymore. Uh, so if you go into sound settings, it brings up a new UI, totally new from what we're used to seeing. So now... Uh, your output device that you would choose, uh, this would be your default playback, okay? And your default record device would be your input device. Okay, you're trying to make it a little more friendly for console people, that sort of thing, I suppose. Uh, but so now it's, this has changed. As you can tell, I've used voice meter uh, aux output as my input device, which is what's feeding the output of my microphone in voice meter. Uh, so you can see that that is working as I'm talking to you right now. Now, where is your default playback and your default record devices? Well, you can now access that up here under sound control panel, uh, which brings up your, uh, you know, the familiar UI that you're used to seeing. Okay. But they're trying to get you from using that. So you, uh, for most people, you know, this would be the preferred way of doing uh, sound change changes. You really wouldn't need to go to the second level of controls but for some of you like me included i might would need to access this a lot more so they this is uh, definitely where it's at now so you don't have to go hunting for it you could also do a search for it if you wanted to uh, but here's what i wanted to show you now look down here at this little thing right here okay so app volume and device preferences okay if you click on that this brings up a brand new feature in windows 10 that allows you to set app specific audio routing. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, so think about apps that you would use that you could not change the audio source, that it would just play to whatever your default playback was, like Spotify, for instance. Okay, remember the video I did a while back for audio routers, a little third-party plug-in or a little third-party software that you could download that would do this for you. Okay, well, now you don't need audio router anymore. You could just use Windows 10. Windows 10 has, has it built in now for default. So I could change my audio route to any of these sources. It doesn't matter if it's built into that program or not. Windows 10 will do it for you. Okay, so I could do Discord here. I could do I could send Discord to a virtual audio cable, or I could send Spotify. Now here, see you don't see Spotify, right? So I need to start it up. And when I start it up, it should, as soon as it starts outputting, which I'll let me play something here. Uh, let me let me find a song that I'm not going to get nailed by. Uh, there we go. So I'll do that. Let me cut it down a little bit in case it's coming in. But it should. There you go. So there it is now showing up. This is Spotify. And I could go in and change this to virtual audio cable. Now, as you can see, when I brought Spotify up, it was already selected. Okay, so once you set it, it's set. You don't have to change it anymore, which is awesome. Because with Audio Router, when you had Audio Router, you had to, ch you had to uh, go in every time you had your PC started up or every time you shut the app down, you had to go in and reprogram or reroute the audio. 
Well, Windows is now saving that, so you don't have to do it anymore. It's there. It's fixed. You don't have to go and do it. It's awesome, right? So I love, I love the new audio features that they have added in Windows 10. Now, the kicker about this, and this is what a lot of people are complaining about, every time you update Windows 10 for a lot of people, now for me, I have not actually had this happen except for when it did the spring update. Um, it totally changed all your audio settings, and you had to go back and manually configure everything again, including voice meter. Uh, but since I have updated to the spring update and the subsequent patches that have come out, I haven't had to worry about it. So uh, you should go ahead and be able to set this up. And once you get the spring update done and you go in and reconfigure everything, highly recommend you save your stream settings. OK, save your stream settings for voice meter on your streaming PC. And if you have it on your gaming PC, on your gaming PC so that you don't have to go through the hassle of trying to set all this stuff up again. All you would have to remember is what your default playback and default record device was in Windows. Okay, but then when you get into this app volume and device preferences, you can route even your browser. Uh, and so you should be able to go in there and set browser sources too, so you don't have to worry about it. So yeah, so here you go. Here's Firefox here. You can go and you can route Firefox. So if you're playing YouTube videos on your live stream, you can route it to a virtual audio cable, and then you can set that into OBS as an audio input capture, and you have a very specific source in your audio mixer in OBS for just music. Okay, so that's something you could do. You could also do this with a chatbot, which you don't need to do because chatbot already has audio routing built into it. So this is really specifically for what you would use this for programs that do not have built-in audio routing. Okay, chatbot has it. Uh, you know, like Windows Media Player has it, uh, VLC, they all have it, but like Spotify doesn't. So Spotify is a real big one, and it's really the main thing that I target with, with this new ability in Windows 10. So anyway, I wanted to talk about it real quick, guys. I hope you, uh, you appreciate it and liked it. I, I appreciate what Windows has done. I can't believe it's taken this long, honestly, uh, to be able to do this because it just makes total sense that you would be able to do this inside of Windows. But in any case, uh, we do now have that ability with the spring content update. So if you have not updated to this new uh, update, go in and do a manual search for Windows updates. It'll show up and you can go ahead and download it. Um, so yeah, go out there and give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. And I think it'll help your live stream out a lot. So go ahead and get rid of audio router. You don't need it anymore. Uh, go ahead. I've, I've, I've even, I've just removed it off my uh, streaming PC. Uh, it's that easy. And this works a lot better. All right. All right, guys, that's it. This is Pun Frugal Streamer. Y'all have a great weekend. Be safe out there. All right. And we'll see you. Bye.